Okay, if you thought animation was cool by moving around Legos and other pieces, uh, uh, clay, that was really great stuff. And you started to learn the principles of animation. You started to really understand saying, how can I make this look like there's movement when there really isn't movement? And now we're gonna take that further into hand-drawn animation. Now, of course, this had the big takeoff long time ago with Walt Disney himself when he drew one of the first animations called Steamboat Willie. And he really saw how this could develop and how people could connect with it and how you could go to all sorts of fancy and, and incredible places without ever leaving the studio. All the way to we go now where we have, in Hollywood, we have such amazing animation that you can't even tell it apart from real life. And the video game industry, again, is so if you're planning on a future in any of these things, animation is one of the fundamental things you need to master. And this Tech 2 is going to help you do that. In the next one, Animation 3, we'll get into digital animation. But this one is going to give you the principles. You can't do digital animation without doing hand-drawn animation. And you can't do hand-drawn animation without starting with clay and Lego figures. So this is where it all goes. Now, what you're going to do here is you're going to grab a book. Um, there's a couple books that we have. And you're going to make a simple little video. Now, remember, animation is a lot of times it's geared towards children. So that's a good place to start with the basics. And, of course, as you get better, you can refine it to a larger audience. But you want to be able to animate something like uh, all about being squares and, and all the different things that make squares. So there's crackers and there's signal flags and there's what windows and checkerboards, all those things. So you're going to animate um, something that you find in one of these books or you can animate something for for us. Um, let's see. You just pick something out of this book here. So I've just opened it up randomly and it says... Your cat is an evil mastermind and has figured out how to switch bodies with you. Okay, that would make a really cool animation as the cat's morphing into you. So that would be good. Uh, next one is, what's a good song? If you could taste it, smell it, touch it, and see it, what would it be like? So, yeah, you pick a song and then, yeah, what would it be like if you could taste that song, touch that song? You know, all these weird things. Okay, so anyhow, that is animation two. Have a lot of fun with it. I can't wait to see... The incredible things that you draw, uh, check out the very bottom where you'll see some examples from other students. But uh, good luck and have fun.